<laughs> it works however you guys want it to work. That's how it works. Okay, let me get Cody. Looking all biffy in his little blues. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> this is going on YouTube. By your presence here with them, you have come to surround them as they stand before us in this place. You're saying to them, they are loved and they are supported. I'm going to remind all of us of some things. Um, this is free advice, maybe worth exactly what you're paying for it, but you're going to get it anyway. Mm. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It means never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least one time a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in an attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in a spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other, because we don't need one. But it is cultivating flexibility and patience and understanding, and I believe, sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each of you can grow all together. It's a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, the dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right Treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to tenderness and gentleness and kindness. Your connection deserves it. When frustrations and difficulties and fear arise in your relationship, and they will because they threaten all relationships at one time or another, remember to focus on what is right between you, not just the part that seems wrong at the time. This is the way you ride out the storms. If each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your lives together, they'll be marked by abundance and delight. Who gives this woman a marriage? Cody, do you take Courtney to be your wife, to be her constant friend and her faithful partner? If you do, the answer is I do. <laughs> I choose to take this moment, not just as a partner, but as my life. I choose to take her as my heart, my soul, my heart, my heart, my heart, my spirit, my beginning, and my life. all of his faults and his strengths? Will you offer yourself to him with all of your faults and your strengths? Will you help him when he needs your help and will you turn to him when he needs you? Will you keep yourself faithful to him? If so, the answer is I will. Woody, will you please take the ring that you have for your bride? Oh, I forgot that. Pretend 
<laughs> well, it means more because it's dad's, so you guys can both use it. So. <laughs> And repeat after me. Courtney, I give you this ring. Courtney, I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of all that we have promised. Of all that we have promised. And all that we will share. And all that we will share. Courtney, please respond by repeating after me. I will forever. Forever. Wear this ring. Wear this ring. As a sign of my commitment. As a sign of my commitment. And the desire of my heart. I got one hand. You grab her hand. Put it over there. Warm her rings. There we go. Please find Touch each other's hands. Gracious God, we witness and celebrate this joining together of two as one. May they find happiness and fulfillment in this union. May they live faithfully together, executing the vows that they have made between them. May they ever remain compassionate and encouraging that their years may be rich in the joys of life and their days be long on this earth. As they begin this new journey, may they be reminded that they are equal partners, each bringing to the relationship their individual special talents and gifts. May they be reminded to include you in their lives, to seek your guidance, your support, and your grace. For those of us gathering here who are married, let us be mindful of our commitments to each other and take a minute to silently renew our solemn promises to each other. For those of us in this gathering who are not married or not yet married, may these two continue to be an example to us of what a happy marriage can look like and how people can choose to live in love and harmony and yet remain individual if can continue to express their individuality. And as to this couple, it has been an amazing journey, I am sure, to get to this place. These plans have unfolded and evolved and we are here today to celebrate. Take care of this strong foundation they have for each other, loving and supporting families and friends upon which they can build their lives together. God, we celebrate their fine individuals that they are, and we celebrate the joyful couple they have become. This afternoon and for always, the community gathered here stands ready, available, and willing to support and love them, and they want them to know that just as they are committed to each other, so are these gathered here committed to them. Now under the authority of the laws of the state of Indiana that vest in me the power to perform this marriage, I pronounce that you are man and wife. And the congregation said, Amen. Amen. You can kiss your bride. <laughs> 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 you need witnesses uh, to sign, and then you will.